As most of you would know by now, the Chinese Navy recently made a surprise visit to Australia, sailing three warships into Sydney Harbour. Apparently the Australian government knew about it, but the Australian public didn't. It was obviously a show of force on China's part to show off its massive military might. But despite this, new photos have emerged of Chinese sailors loading their frigates with Australian baby formula just before departure. In this photo, you can see that the soldier is carrying two different types of baby formula and some face whitening masks. In the van, there's also Devondale brand Long Life Milk. I think this photo captures the modern day reality of China perfectly. The Chinese Communist Party have spent billions of dollars upgrading and modernizing their military, but yet sailors are so skeptical of the domestic Chinese market, they have to buy Australian baby formula to give to their families. Baby formula has become such a hot commodity in Australia of late. I know, my wife is a so-called Daigo, a Chinese national who lives in Australia and buys baby formula from the local supermarkets to sell back to the cash-rich, milk-poor Chinese middle class. It's become a huge underground industry in Australia. Back in January this year, six people were charged for running a $1 million organized crime ring that allegedly stole baby formula from Australian supermarkets and then sold them on the black market in China. Over the last couple of years, Chinese in Australia have got a bit of a bad reputation for buying out entire shelves of baby formula at grocery stores. Obviously, the supermarkets don't mind, but from a PR point of view, they've had to impose limits on shoppers. It's most recently been set to two tins per customer. However, as I know from my wife's circle of friends, these limits are easily circumvented. They just send in different people, uncles, aunties, cousins, friends, to buy up all the formula. Then they move on to the next shop and do the same thing. In a day, they can easily gather a hundred or more cans of formula. They do it all the time. In this video, you can see Chinese shoppers flooding into a supermarket to buy out all the baby formula. You would think that it would be embarrassing for them with all the negative news of late, but they still do it. For six tins of formula, my wife can make about $60 profit. That's including postage to China. It's become a real lucrative market. So why do they do it? Why is there such a huge market for Australian baby formula in China? Because the Chinese domestic market can't be trusted. Ten years ago, 22 brands of Chinese formula were found to contain high levels of melamine. This was used to cheat the tests that measure protein content. It basically allowed milk producers in China to dilute their product, pass the protein tests, and make more money. In the process, they ended up killing a number of children and leaving others with permanent kidney damage. It was a terrible tragedy and now the Chinese milk market is ruined. Consequently, we now have Chinese warships coming into Sydney Harbour filling up on baby formula. Maybe this was their intended mission all along. Perhaps Prime Minister Scott Morrison has got shares in the Australian milk industry. From the photos I've seen, I bet he does. What an interesting world we live in.